Hi guys, I'm up in the fabulous County Durham and you join me on the banks of the River Tees. I'm up here to compete in the Rivers Masters competition with my fellow veterans, Graham Lumsden and Del Spry. Really looking forward to it, but getting eaten alive by the midges. So without further ado, let's get into it. What's it all about then? Well, it's the brainchild of uh, an England international, Scott Nellens, who's, I think he's a member of the world team or the European team, I can't quite remember. But he's come up with a competition that is fished to Phipps Moosh rules. And I'll put a link to that up in the title bar up there. Uh, in case you're not sure what that is. We were lucky enough to compete in it last year and it was a superb competition. And why wouldn't it be? We're on one of the best rivers in the north of England. It's absolutely beautiful and it is filled with wild trout. You're not going to catch huge fish here, but you may well catch quite a few fish. In the first part of the video, I want to show you what kit I've brought up to the tees to fish with. So, let's start with the box. So this is just a sealed box and I keep all my kit in here. So when it's wet, it just pulls in the bottom and it doesn't soak my car. So when I get back, I empty it out, drain the water away, dry my kit and it all goes back in here. So inside my box, I've got uh, roof rack rails in case I've got to drive to a parking spot to fish a particular beat. And then I'm just going to pack my kit away as I go. So I've got my boots and I've got special boots for the tees. I have these uh, discs on these because the river is so slippy. Next, I have my waders. Uh, they're still a little bit damp from the last visit to the river. But again, they go into the box. Along with that, I have a wading staff, which is essential on the River Tees, in my humble opinion. If you're a young whippersnapper, you can probably glide across the rocks. I also have knee pads, because I'm always banging my knees and shins into these rocks, so these are invaluable. Also very good for when you're approaching the river, you want to keep a low profile, the knee pads will save you in your old age. I'm in my old age, by the way. And... Next, you want to have a good lumbar support waist belt and attached to that is my net. So that goes in the box next. Now, on top of that, I have a very thin waterproof jacket, which I don't need at the minute, but we are in Durham, so more than likely I'm gonna need it very soon. And if I come round to this side, I've got a good set of polarising glasses. Again, that goes in the box. And a good cap just to keep the glare of the sun. We're in Durham, if we get any sun. And what have I got in my vest or chest back, should I say? So a couple of things here. Uh, I've got some Hunt's Original Dust. I expect to be doing quite a bit of dry fly fishing while I'm here. And this stuff is, uh, as I think I've mentioned in another video, it's magic dust. Just keeps your flies floating, no problem at all. I've also got some Hunt's Mud for degreasing the leader, which I forgot on my last outing, but I've managed to remember it. I've got a little bit of dilly wax. Uh, it's just uh, a preferred treatment for dry flies. It's similar to gink, but it does work particularly well. I've also got a lip so because my lips are very sensitive. <laughs> and that all lives in the front compartment. Now in the in the main compartment I've got my cast carrier. This basically is something that I'll use on match day. I'll make up a number of different casts and I'll keep them in here for um 
quick changes. When you're old and feeble like I am, the last thing you want to be doing is messing around tying flies and casts on. So that lives in the main compartment. And then I've got my fly boxes for comp, all attached to the vest via a lanyard. And I've also got some muslin. And what I use the muslin for is as I'm setting up, I'll treat the first four or five feet in my fly line with some muslin. And that just helps keep it floating high on the water, especially when I'm fishing dries. So, that's my pouch for competition. If there's anything I've missed, I'd love to hear what you keep in your chest pack, waistcoat, sling pack, whatever your poison is. Let me know in the comments below. Well, the idea is you come up and you get reacquainted with the river, see what the levels are like, check out the wading, and the tease is always an adventure when it comes to wading, but you want to try and narrow down the methods you're actually going to use on your competition sessions. So who you see in the background is our team captain, Graham Lumsden. He's just uh, working away with the double nymph now, just, tr just to see if um, we can get an extra few fish by employing that method. But mostly we'll be adopting a dry fly and duo approach. the team's practice finished with and what we've done over the last three days is we've fished similar water to what we expect to fish on the competition beats. The beats have been out of bounds for the last two weeks so hopefully other than local pressure there should be plenty of fish. Del, how do you think the practice and the preparation's gone? Yeah pretty good, as good as we can expect I guess. Um, the river's on good form, uh, there's plenty of fish, we've used quite a few different methods to catch them so you're not going to tell the folks how we're getting them <laughs> <laughs> sunday evening i might be yeah yeah yeah, yeah no uh, it's a it's a great place up here it's, it's fantastic scenery great fishery so yeah i've really enjoyed it yeah, yeah it's been good fun yeah. and um so tonight once once we've finished we're going to tackle down now and head back to the car what kind of preparation work do you see us getting on with tonight uh, just making everything's ready um to hand, your tippets in the right place, your flies are all sorted, you know, might have to tie a few flies that we found work well, but uh, just just prepare yourself, look at the beat maps, turn up at the right time, right place, and, and, and you know... And, and catch a load of fish. And fish as best you can, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Well, that's us. We're all ready. If I don't get a chance to wish the rest of the competitors good luck, I'd like to do it retrospectively in this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you're enjoying what we're doing here, please remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all on competition day.